bags are packed and we hit the road. It is summer in Sweden and we are on the search for some new waters. Perch fishing with the goal to find a small hidden forest lake with the untouched fish. A life on the road is challenging but exciting. The experience that we get from every journey is something you'll take with you for the rest of your life. Nature, views, and some chance to release a beautiful fish back into the water after a great fight is amazing. The driven emotion to seek out the unknown is a passion I guess every angler has. Even if we stumble on some setbacks on the way, you always adapt and never give up. After a couple of days struggling with forests, roads and non-existing boat ramps, we finally arrived to our destination. So here we are in the middle of nowhere. It took us like half the day to find the ramp to, to get the boat into the water, uh, but hopefully it's worth it. Today we're going fishing for, for perch uh, in the middle of nowhere actually. So uh, never been here, I don't think anybody ever fished here. So let's see what that brings to the day. I think Jonathan got something to spice this up and I don't mean the hot candy challenge one time again, but um, I think we're in for some sort of a lure competition. Rigged up and ready. As Mogi said, this is a big adventure in the middle of nowhere. We, yeah, we have gone through a lot to get here. Uh, we had to screw off the transducer of the boat uh, to even get the boat into the water. Uh, super shallow, tricky with uh, slippery grass to get the boat uh, down and we will see, hopefully we will get it up. Uh, but we are in, it's a se hopefully a secret perch lake. Uh, only rumor says this is gonna be big perch here. And uh, of course it's not a video for you without a twist. Uh, so today I have chosen five lures. I've already presented them for Moge. And I will present them for you. Uh, let's go through them quite quickly. This is a Shadow Wrap Shad Rapala Lure. This is a Ripping Wrap. A rattling, really loud sound in this vibration bait. I've chosen a Jig 8 cm Boom Shad from Storm. I've chosen the Skitter Pop as a top water lure. And as the five and last one, uh, Jack Deep, a deeper, hard rattling actually uh, crankbait. So it's five different types of lure. And the challenge today is uh, so easy that we can't switch the lure until we will catch a perch on each and every one. And the winner has to uh, come up. <laughs> with some sort of uh, penalty for the loser and it's not gonna be the hot candy one uh, as by the way you can see up here I will leave a link if you haven't seen the hot candy challenge that I tricked Mogia it was hilarious but yeah something uh, different for the loser today so the first lure we have chosen today is the hard rattling rip and wrap a vibration bait from Rapala uh, this is uh, yeah, we have to catch uh, one perch. The lake is super small. Uh, we cruised around here for now, like 10 minutes. Uh, we have depth on four, six meter as the deepest, as what we know. Uh, the edges and towards shore, it's quite shallow. We have lily pads, areas with lily pads. We have stones. We have different type of uh, reeds and uh, grass. And yeah, it's super exciting. The environment is it's crazy. So, first cast is flying through the air, guys. Let's kick Smoggy's ass. The equipment I'm using uh, when I'm casting the ripping wrap is the Psycho Perch Rod uh, from Akuma. Uh, this is the 32, up to 32 grams, uh, which makes it really suitable for both the 7 centimeter and the 6 centimeter version of the ripping wrap. A uh, good backbone to it, quite modern and fast blanks. And together with the Epixor 30 model, uh, gives me a little more power into the reel if we are hooking a better and bigger fish. And of course, all the features of the Okuma spinning reels are built into the Epixor. That was a strike. Yeah, 
No! What? Take it again. Two hard strikes. What the? Three times. Are you kidding me? Eight meter here. Maybe a small. Yeah, I got it. It's a perch. <laughs> it's a perch, guys, on the rip and wrap. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> three times, three times. Whoa, it's not a big one, but look at this color. Oh, the sound of the the sound of the rip and wrap it makes them go crazy. You saw it? Ooh, pop, pop. Take it easy, man. Look at the colors of this one. <laughs> this is an untouched perch. I can promise you that no one has catched this one before. Wow. <laughs> So, so that cool. means you're in the lead, right? Yeah, and the rip and wrap has catched its first. So basically I can switch lure, but you are still in yeah, the Yeah, but you will get to hold the camera from now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we will let this one go. Mwah. See you, buddy. Nice one. Wow. Boom. Rip and wrap is off and uh, I'm switching quite quickly to an eight centimeter boom shot from Storm, which is the second lure. To increase my lead here over Mugge. Let's go for the two zero. Yeah, there it is. The rip and wrap perch. I'm gonna perch call it lure, sort of. And you have uh, gained 1-1 one, one again. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and uh, I mean, this type of water is kind of murky and at least it's kind of dark waters. Uh, rattling baits like this can be really good. And as you might know, perch eat perch. So let's put this, put this one back and... Is it boom shot? Or... Oh, I have a fish! <laughs> I have a fish! <laughs> That's, that's, crazy. that's crazy! I forgot my lure in <laughs> on the boat side and uh, <laughs> it was just hanging like two meters down and I, I hear something and boom! Boom on the boom shad! We will go back to Mogus perch. <laughs> Small one? Nice! Right, let's put it back. Uh, and we will switch. <laughs> oh, the one. The... That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that. But I mean, uh, as I said a few times in the Hot Candy Challenge, does that even count? I mean, you were even you didn't even hold the, hold your rod. Yeah, that's that's a whole new level of static fishing. <laughs> static presentation at its best. Boom, 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 and uh, he accelerates to two one. Let it go. Thank you. Ah, nice. <laughs> boom. Boom. My time to use boom shad. This is a really versatile lure, so uh, I'm actually gonna fish it drop, drop shot style. Since uh, Jonathan was so successful with the static presentation, I'm gonna fish it like this. Uh, with small drop shot hook, just in the nose. Uh, and we'll see. I mean, uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, the, the perch doesn't seem to be that big, so this could be the trick that takes me into the, not into the lead, but at least into 2-2. Two, two. So, the next lure is gonna be Mr. Jack Deep. This one is gonna be quite tricky because uh, uh, Jack Deep, as you hear, it goes quite deep and uh, in this scenario Instead of changing the area, we will continue to search uh, the lake. So I will have to uh, spin it really slowly and make uh, small pauses. Uh, see if, uh, if, if I can manage to strike one. 
Yep. Yep, yep. Guys, I thought it should be tricky, but it's not that tricky. It's still same size or even a little smaller, but uh, yeah, Jack Deep made it. The strike came immediately. Beautiful fish. There you go. My second of the day, the second lure. The boom shot, really, look at this. It's hooked on the outside of the mouth. It's, a, it's such a beautiful fish. Uh, I won't take this home and put it in the aquarium, but <laughs> I'll let it go and change the lure to, what's the third one? Jack Deep. Deep. Jack Deep. <laughs> okay, let's go for deep waters then. <laughs> so it's three all, I guess. Another one on the, on the Jack Deep. It's a good thing to be, I mean, having Jonathan in the lead shows the way. I fished it exactly the same way he did. <laughs> Almost the same color, a natural one. This one is a roll, uh, live roach. Let's put it back. Small fish. Yeah, nice one. Bye bye. <laughs> I will unhook. Um, the jack deep and actually go for my absolutely favorite jerk bait when it comes to Rapala jerk baits or I would say any jerk baits because uh, guys shadow up shad this is uh, I out of words how much I love this lure and you can fish it all over the world it will catch fish so this is the fourth lure and the last one a bit worried about the top water uh, because we haven't seen any activity so the top water can be a challenge for many hours maybe in the night but uh, yeah for now shad wrap shad I will fish this with gladly fish this both uh, both of us are fishing the shadow up shad now. Uh, it is my favorite lure in by far in the Rapala arrangement because as Mogi said, I've also me I've catch so many big perch, but I think we are in for a challenge on this one actually because I have fished it now uh, during the whole time that uh, Mogi fished the jack deep. Uh, I fished it and I had a lot of followers, but they didn't strike it. I'm a bit worried here, but we will, I think we will take a mutual agreement that we have to search an area where we can find perch and where they actually have the, have the ability to strike it on the, on the right depth of the swimming, on the swimming action of the, of the shad wrap shad. So, but we are going for the fourth fish on the four different kind of lure and a different kind of action and then we are in for the popper. But uh, after the competition, yeah, we can choose whatever lure we want and I'm looking forward. To, hopefully it will come soon so we can try to, try to fish whatever we want. And uh, yeah, of course I want to win the competition. Jonathan thought that he would catch the, the shadow wrap shad perch. <laughs> but I did, which means I have to fish proper for, for like, uh, I mean, usually uh, proper is really good in the, in the evening, but I mean, it's just past lunch, so it could be a few hours of popping for me before I get to catch the first. But you took the lead. <laughs> yeah, for the first time, for the first time this competition. Small one, same size as the other ones, but hey. Doesn't matter. You're in the lead. Yeah. Just on the point of the reed line, and I think it's a perch. Yeah, it is. It's a perch. Come here. Whoa. Nice. Shadow nice. wrapped shad. <laughs> they are really strong for the size. <laughs> Look at the colors. Hello, my little friend. You hear that? Yeah, 
That was hunting, yeah? That is hunting. Hunting. That's puppy time. <laughs> Put it back and let's go. Okay, for we both go for pop for for poppers and um, we will let this one go. But I'm chasing Mogia and it's uh, it's uh, four four now and both are going for for top water fishing. See you and uh, let's hurry because they were feeding in the surface. Boom! Good job, mate. Yeah, let's bring out the skitty pop, bluish silver with a uh, golden stripes. I really like this color and when it comes to to topwater fishing we recently made a, a quite cool competition me and me and Robert a good friend of mine on some on some um, pike topwater fishing really nice uh, but for the smaller one for the skitty pop I also like to go for the psycho perch another rod in the same series uh, this is up to 24 gram instead so it's a bit lighter blank uh, a bit softer but still as the 32 gram it's modern it's it's fast you don't want it too stiff when you go for the skitter pop or the top water fishing especially on perch because the perch mouth are uh, quite soft so you don't want it, the the blank and the rod to be too stiff so you just pull it out of the mouth so the psycho perch up to 24 gram really good this is the itx uh, a uh, thousand size, uh, really lightweight reel. Uh, I'm using a suffix 131, a lime, a lime color, a quite bright line. This is the 0 0.12, I think. So it's quite thin line, cuts really good through the water, but overall a great and uh, finesse combo for small jigs and especially smaller uh, top water fishing. So let's win this challenge. That's crazy. I was, I was, uh, I was just putting down the camera, and I was uh, controlling the the trolling motor with my foot. And, uh, and then Jonathan said, "There's a fish following your bait." I looked up, and yeah, it was it missed. And I made a few more twitches, and uh, first really, really nice uh, perch of today. Look at this one. That's a nice fish, my friend. Beautiful fish. On top water, that's a nice fish. That's a f almost 40 centimeters, maybe. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would say 40. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful. But you know what that fish means? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, I will not rub it in. Uh, not that much, though. Yeah, I'm defeated. It's a fact. It doesn't happen often, <laughs> but it's a fact. Congratulations, my friend. Mm, thank you. Celebrating with chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> where, um, where are the red wine and crackers? <laughs> um, I guess I'm, I'm had to have to drive the car back home. Yeah. If we get the boat out of the water. <laughs> but I mean, that's a that's a problem for later on. It is. Well, well played and uh, well fished. And I just want to show you something. Look at this screen. There's so much bait fish, so much. I don't know if it's small perch or white fish or whatever, but it's it's loads and loads. So I guess we will catch some more today or tonight. Yeah, it because is. it's. I mean, we've got several hours left to fish. So um, yeah, let's do it. And I have plenty of time to figure out some something special for Jonathan, especially having in mind the time when he tricked me with 
the hot candy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it fit? Come on, get Look at that beautiful perch. It's so golden. The colors are so vibrant. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stripes. At least on this side, I guess there will be. Oh, look. Look at that boom shot. Totally inhaled. Absolutely one of my favorite lure this year. Mwah. So, I guess that's the that's the last fish of the night before we head to the so-called ramp and try to get the boat out of the water. Wrong species, but a really nice take uh, and a nice fight on the psycho perch rod. It's a beautiful pike with these leopard. Look at the tummy. Oh, this is about to get crazy. Oh, come on. Beautiful fish, really nice one. I'll let it go right away. And uh, I think that summarized the day pretty well. Uh, I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we didn't know what to expect. We caught some few, caught quite a few uh, perch. One nicer one and a couple of pikes. So, I mean, as I, usually say a day on the water it's always a nice day so make sure to to follow and subscribe and comment below and we'll see you in the next video so we're back in the cabin and I've told Jonathan that his punishment is to uh, to clean my boat I mean we've been traveling a whole lot and the boat and the car is really dirty so uh, um, we'll let him know let's see if we can do this. Uh, he's he's actually preparing it. Um, as you can see, he's. You're already <laughs> done. Okay. Well, you what know, I said that you should clean my my. Um, I'm my on boat. my way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I think you're doing it the wrong way. What? Hold on. This is the tool, perfect tool. What? What the wrong way? This one. <laughs> no. Go ahead. For real? For real. With the toothbrush. And look at those colors. What? That's it's like the Okuma fuel. <laughs> well, is, this the the is this the punishment? That's the punishment. But I can't do all the boat. Of course you can. And the car. No. It's dirty. No, okay. The boat is for okay. For real? Yep, for real. Look at that trailer, it's so dirty. It will take me hours. No, no. Okay, <laughs> wait, let's say for one side. Not if you're doing it fast, it won't take forever. Uh, well, uh, well, I mean, I'll rig the camera uh, <laughs> like over here and uh, I'll go inside, make myself a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, I'll see you in an hour or so. With this one? Yeah. I think that's good enough. I mean... No, but this was... Yeah, it's the first start maybe, but... That won't take too long. I'm done. It's time to go to bed. Bye.